Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. On this channel, we will focus on taking care of our home and ourselves to the best of our ability. So that is what we're doing in today's video by talking about my clean and reusable swaps of products that are better for me, better for the environment, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. We are in my bathroom and I'm gonna share some reusable slash clean products that I've been using for beauty related things. So I got all of them right here and we're gonna talk about them one by one. First up, I just started using this foundation. So this is the Typology Serum Tint. Tinted Serum is what it's called. So it's definitely lighter. It is not going to be full coverage. It has skincare benefits, like that kind of product. And this is exactly the kind of product I was looking for right now, especially for summertime. So I'm wearing it today. You can see it on my skin. It's very glowy, very natural. You can still see blemishes through it, but that's fine with me, especially for summertime. I don't want to wear something heavy. This is Typology. You've probably seen a lot of influencers be sponsored by this brand recently, but they have several products, whether it's skincare or makeup related. I think they even have a candle maybe, but I would definitely recommend checking out their website for clean products. They are a French brand. They have stricter guidelines for the ingredients that they can use in their products and therefore it's cleaner and better for us. So highly recommend Typology. Next is my mascara. This is Well People's Expressionist Volumizing Mascara. They are also a clean brand. They focus on cleaner ingredients. This is the black mascara and I do have to be honest I don't know if I can recommend this I don't think it's volumizing enough for me the formula is a little drier than what I'm used to I used to use L'Oreal Lash Paradise that one just makes your lashes like so voluminous so full and this one is a little bit drier than that but I still think it's a good product I may be searching for more clean mascaras in the future so if you have a recommendation please let me know because i'd like to try it out next is my moisturizer so this is from honest beauty it's the hydro gel cream and i am loving this moisturizer i just got it what i don't like about some moisturizers is they feel so thick and lotiony i don't like that feeling Something that I do love that I've used as a moisturizer in the past is that Neutrogena Water Aqua Balm one. I'll put it up here. I have loved that because it just feels so fresh and it's like you're splashing water in your face. But this one is a good in-between of the lotiony and that freshness. It's still very light and fluffy. It's not too thick. So I really like that. Honest Beauty is another clean brands that I've seen recommended online. So they have makeup, skincare. You can definitely check them out and see if any of their products would work for you. I have had these for several years. So these are my makeup pads. Some of them are stained pink or red because I also use these to remove makeup, but also to remove nail polish. So these have taken the place of cotton balls for me and makeup wipes. I got these maybe two, three years ago, so I've had them for a while. This is a set on Amazon. I have no idea what set because I got it as a Christmas gift, but I will find similar ones and I'll link those down below. These have been great. They still get my makeup off perfectly fine and they get nail polish off perfectly fine. I have had no issues using these. I will show you the bag that it comes in because you do have to wash them in the washing machine. This is the washing machine bag. I have a few dirty ones in here right now. So you just tie it up and then you throw it in the wash with your laundry and they come out clean. Something I have worried about is maybe the makeup transferring to my clothes that I wash it with. 
never had that problem never seen any residue of makeup on my clothes so that's that's some good stuff i use this garnier micellar water with these to wash off my makeup this is probably not clean so i don't <laughs> recommend that but if you do have a clean recommendation of a micellar water please let me know because i would love to use it but these are the combos that i've used to remove my makeup lastly is this native body wash i keep it upside down in the shower so that it's all on the bottom but i have the unscented version the reason why is because one i know fragrances are not as clean or as good for you also i had a lot of back knee in i don't know maybe the winter colder months and everyone said to use unscented body wash for that so that's why i got this one i think i got it off of amazon because I don't think they have the unscented version in store, but you can get it. Native has had really good reviews in the clean department, so I also use their sunscreen. I've used their deodorant, but just like kind of what other people have said, the deodorant doesn't necessarily stop me from smelling bad, so I've tried some other ones. I'm still kind of searching for a clean deodorant that doesn't smell bad, but I do recommend the body wash i think the body wash is good and if you want to do some fragrances you can this is just what i've used because i've been trying to get rid of the back knee so it's worked for me now that we've talked about all of the beauty products let's go to my household products so sorry it is another day now because that day that i filmed the first half just got away from me so we're gonna do the rest of it and talk about the household items that I clean reusable swapped so the first is this mop here this is by the brand Bona, and this is a reusable pad mop so these pads on the bottom look like that you are able to throw in the washing machine and clean and reuse them when you do buy this mop, the pack that I got only came with one pad. I feel like it'd be better to have at least two or three, but I may buy some more pads in the future so that I can have those. So far, we really like this mop. We actually had the Swiffer mop before this one, and even my husband was like, this mop feels like it cleans better. It's just a more thorough clean it looks cleaner so we really like this mop and we'll be continuing to get some more pads next let's talk about this concentrate so this is the dr bronner's 18 in 1 hemp ba baby unscented pure castile soap that's a lot of words so what this does it's a concentrate that you are able to dilute and use for multiple purposes so on the instructions it says you can use it to wash your hands you can use it as a foaming dispenser you can use it as a hand washing dish soap you can use it for laundry mopping floors washing your dog cleaning vegetables or fruit an all-purpose cleaner you can use it for plants or bugs and you can use it as a shaving cream interesting so those are kind of a few of the purposes but what I do is I just use a little dash of this soap then I use mostly water to dilute it I personally don't think that it's my favorite for hand washing dish soap I just feel like we have to use a lot more of the soap to get a clean dish but I have liked it for soap and for all-purpose cleaners I have used it for that I have used it as a mopping solution it's worked well for that so I recommend getting this as an all-around product and it's pretty clean I found it on TikTok, so I think that this works for a lot of different things and is safe to use next are these reusable ziploc bags so i got this set of 
I don't know, maybe 10, 12, maybe 12. I got this set of 12 from Costco. They have cute little fruits on them. And these are great. I highly recommend these instead of using Ziploc bags. We've used this a lot for extra fruit, veggies, even leftovers like pasta. Sometimes we'll put meat in it, but other types of leftovers we don't put in these bags. Any type of leftover you would put in a bag, these work well for. I will say that these don't handle heat very well, obviously because of their material. I once tried to put popcorn that was really hot still in one of these and it started to like melt. So be weary of that. I wouldn't put them in the dishwasher. We soak them with water and soap and then wash them out and that's how we keep them clean. But these are great. I will be honest, we still use the plastic Ziploc bags, but I'm trying to fully convert to these ones so that we don't use those anymore. So I recommend this little set. There's plenty of sets. It doesn't have to be this one. You could find them on Amazon or literally anywhere, Target. I'm sure you could find some. The last thing I want to talk about is this laundry detergent. This is the BioClean laundry liquid. So I found this on TikTok again. That's where I find my clean product recommendations. But this brand is very highly recommended. It's clean. They have several other products like my friend uses their dishwasher tablets, I think. But they also have a concentrate like the one I just showed you that you can use as a multi-purpose thing. But this was what I needed. So I got this and it has worked great. One of the things that we had a problem with with our old dishwasher liquids, it would leave these splotches on our clothes and we didn't even dry those shirts, but it would just be left from being in the wash. This has not done that once. So I don't know why that kept happening. I don't even remember what brand we used to use, but this has been great and solved all of our problems. One thing I do want to specify, and me and my friend have talked about this, we really only buy clean or reusable products when we've run out of the old product. So I'm not gonna go out and buy a new window cleaner if I still have window cleaner. I want to use up what I have and then move on to something cleaner or more reusable. I just think that's more sustainable for the average consumer to wait till they run out of the item before they purchase a new one. So that's my little disclaimer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you and I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys. Thank you.